Experiment. To separate a mixture of colour substances using paper chromatography or thin layer chromatography or column chromatography. Part A. To separate the components of different samples of ink using paper chromatography. The piece of chromatography paper shown has been cut to fit the gas jar. Try to avoid handling the paper a lot as the oils from your hands can affect the results. Using a pencil, draw a faint line about 2 cm from the bottom of the paper. Using the pencil, identify each sample of ink being analysed. Place a small dot of each of the three different coloured inks side by side on the pencil line. Make sure they are well spaced from each other. Water was poured into the gas jar to a depth of about 1 cm. If the samples are marked water insoluble, you will have to use organic solvents. Place the length of chromatography paper in the gas jar as shown. Allow time for the solvent to rise through the paper until a good separation of colours is observed. This completes the experiment. Part B. To separate the components of food dyes using thin layer chromatography. A strip of TLC plating was cut from a roll. Using a pencil, draw a faint line about 1 cm from the bottom of the plate. Using the pencil, identify each food dye. With the aid of a dropper, place a small spot of food dye on the pencil line. Water was poured into a beaker to a depth of about 0.5 centimetres. 
Place the TLC plate in the beaker as shown. Allow time for the solvent to rise up through the plate until a separation of colours is observed. This completes the experiment. Part C, to separate the components of food dyes using column chromatography. Using a scissors, the tip of the bulb of a plastic dropper was cut off. With the aid of a piece of wire, a small wad of loosely fitting cotton wool is placed at the bottom of the plastic dropper. Fill the plastic dropper with silica gel up to the base of the bulb. With the aid of a test tube holder, the plastic dropper is allowed to stand in a sample tube. Using another dropper, add about 3 cm cubed of methanol to the column. and allow it to drain through. Then add three drops of the food dye to the washed column and allow it to drain through. As the food dye drains through the column, continue adding methanol to ensure that a small reservoir of methanol remains above the top of the column. As the separation continues, different coloured dyes will flow from the column. Change the sample tubes to collect each coloured substance individually. This completes the experiment.